I love both the white and the red sauce for tuna pasta. Today we're gonna make the red sauce version. And the difference with this one, the way I make it compared to the white, is I add these oil cured black olives into it. Along with the anchovy, it packs this really meaty umami flavor that's just, it's just unbelievable. And I know you clicked on this, so you're obviously into these type of dishes. And these are great when you're in that seafood mood and you know, you don't have access to fresh clams or, you know, good shrimp like in these dishes. This one, and I'm showing you all the ingredients right here, is made up of, with the main ingredient being the tuna, canned tuna. So we also have plum tomatoes, anchovies, and this tuna, uh, I get it from Costco. You know, I always get a lot of stuff from Costco, but any oil packed tuna, this is a moderately priced one, will be great for this. And uh, I, there I have Metsi rigatoni, which I use in a lot of dishes. Got garlic and parsley too, olive oil, and extra virgin olive oil. I always start with regular olive oil. I rarely cook with extra virgin. I always finish with extra virgin. Not always, but often I do. And we're going to start by using the back of the knife and just going to hit the garlic out. And it comes out easily when you do this. So, you know, there's other ways to open it too, but I always like to do that. And we're just going to do a not, a, not a super thin slice. Just put that off to the side. And now these are the oil cured olives. I'm using my fingers to squeeze the pit right out. These are extreme, well, they're, they're amazing. These are amazing olives. I, I love them. They're probably my favorite type of olive. Uh, they are very salty. So I always recommend to run them in a strainer to try to rinse off some of the salt. I'm just doing a rough chop on them here. Parsley, I'm gonna take off the stems, the end stems like I normally do. I don't really see much value in putting that in a pasta dish at the end. It's, but you know, you could save it and use that for another purpose. So I'm just gonna chop it pretty fine, mince. And then here's my capers, same thing. Rinse them off just like you did the oil cured olives. Okay, so here's the tuna. And it comes packed in olive oil. And I just used it, use that. You know, I don't drain this or anything. We're gonna use this in the dish. Anchovies, these are Cento. Cento is a good quality brand and these are cheap to buy them this way. A lot of times you get these cans for 99 cents. Uh, other option is to take to buy them in a the jar. You can buy a more expensive jar and you can store that in your fridge for, for a long period of time. All right, so yeah, I was gonna chop them up on the cutting board. Then I'm like, you know, <laughs> no, you don't wanna do that because it, you know, stink up your cutting board. Put it on a plastic cutting board and you just take that cutting board and you could put it when you're done, you can put it in your dishwasher. Medium low heat here, and coat the bottom with olive oil, roughly a quarter cup, but this doesn't have to be exact at all. And I'm gonna put the garlic in, we wanna get it lightly golden. This is how so many dishes start. And the trick here is just to get enough color in the garlic to get that flavor out of it, but not to burn it. And pretty much right away, 30 seconds later, I'm gonna add the anchovies in. And now, since we smashed them with a the knife, we, they're, go they're going to basically disintegrate. I'm gonna put hot pepper in here too. By the way, anchovies are gonna give, it's just gonna give it a better flavor, almost like a meaty flavor. Put the capers in too, and, uh, and we got the black olives going in. So, uh, honestly with this dish, nothing has to be in a specific order. You could add those capers and olives at the end, which would be totally fine too. You could add the tuna at the end. I'm just gonna add it now. And I, you know, we have the heat really low. Yeah, let's just get it all in there. And I'm using two cans, but if you had one can, that would be fine. If you want to use even more, use three cans. Cans vary in size. These are five ounce cans. The brand is Genova. And it's yellowfin packed tuna. It's not the fillets that are a lot more expensive. All right, so I'm getting the tomatoes in. And I just use crushed tomatoes here. Most of the time you see me using San Marzano whole plum. But, you know, we're working with what we have right now. You know, this is peak time of, quarant of quarantine time, and I'm running out of ingredients, which I'm sure you guys are too. 
And since I'm in New York, it's harder to get a lot of this stuff. So what I'm doing is I'm taking half of the sauce out of here and out of the pan, and I'm gonna add pasta water in. So I wanna get this, a little, it was a little thick, I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. And just mix that all around. I'm scraping the sides of the pan. A little bit more pasta water. You'll get the hang of this. The more you make pastas, you'll, you'll be able to judge exactly what you need. And by removing that sauce, you can always add it back. But it's hard, if you have too much sauce in there, it's hard to take it out. So I'm gonna get the pasta in, very al dente pasta. I'm gonna finish it in the sauce right here. I want this sauce to grab the pasta. And it's gonna grab it because we don't put oil in the water <laughs> when we boil it. All right, we're essentially gonna turn, we're gonna turn the pasta you know, a little, a little darker color here. Add that parsley in at the end. And so I turn my heat off when I add the parsley in and I'm just gonna coat everything again, give it another toss or two. You know, if you can toss your pasta, it's good. If you can't, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It, it increases emulsification, but it's not necessary. So this is a great one. It's got it's got it's got a strong, just a, just a delicious flavor. It, I finished with that extra virgin olive oil, that frantoia, and you know to make this, watching right now how I just kind of quick, kind of not a lot of, it's not a lot of fuss here. You can get this thing done in about 20 minutes. And I encourage you to watch all my other pantry pasta recipes. This one's. In the pantry pasta list, the other ones, pasta with potatoes, pasta with zucchini, and beans. 